What is going on, everyone? We are back with another episode from our Raiders franchise in Madden 16. It is week one of season number five. We're going to be taking on the Minnesota Vikings. But first, let's take a look at this squad. Chase Moss is your quarterback. Darren Ellis, your running back. Latavius Murray behind him. Amari Cooper, your starting wide receiver. Tavon Austin behind him. Devin Funch is going to be our third wide receiver with Lucas behind him. And then Brandon Cooks with the rookie, Trey Steffens. Stevens, I'm going to keep saying his name wrong. Or two different ways but that is the guy he was impressive in the preseason on defense it's the same guys on the line and actually the same exact starting defense except for one Brandon Boykins is going to be your second corner and then we have Pearson the first round pick he's going to be backing up Cromartie and actually is going to be that third corner so he should see a lot of playing time in this first game and then you see the rest of the defense there on special teams one change here a couple changes I guess our returner I'm going with Steffens as the returner this guy has crazy speed, so he's going to take it away from Tavon Austin. But I'm looking at the schedule. We're going to start out against the Vikings, and it's Texans, Colts, Patriots, Packers, Broncos, Steelers, Bears. Bye week is in week nine. That's a nice spot for it. Then we're back at it against the Chargers. Then a three-game road trip against the Lions, Titans, and Chiefs. Then we're back at home for the Jaguars and Chiefs. And then we end it again. Two-game road trip, Chargers, Broncos, divisional games. That's going to be huge. But that is the season. Now we got to get through it. We probably, as I kind of... Uh, the month of August has kind of snuck up on me. We're not going to make it through this entire season before Madden 17 comes out, obviously because it comes out next week. So probably going to have to end up simulating some of the season, but we'll figure that out along the way. But here we go. In this game, it's going to be Frazier with a reception for the first down out of the 46. Teddy Bridgewater's first completion of the game. That one's going to go for 21 yards, but it's third and five here from the 48 as Bridgewater looking to keep the drive alive, and he will. He finds his tight end, Redmond, there as he'll take it down to the 39-yard line. So now first down for the Vikings as it's Bridgewater. Bridgewater going to take the snap here. Safety showing pressure. They're coming, but he's going to stand strong, and he's going to find Pierre Garçon, and he's down the sideline. Not a great time for us to try to blitz. Pearson, the rookie, is going to get that tackle, and he is going to apparently cause an injury to Garçon. He would be back, though, or will be back later in the game. But now first and goal, Bridgewater looking to end the drive, and he's going to do it. Redmond, the tight end, with the catch in the Vikings. Take an early 7-0 lead, and we are down already here in this season. But here we go. The rookie, Steffens, going to take the kick, and he's down the sideline. Going to be taken down, but not until he gets all the way to the 39-yard line. This kid is ridiculous. As we take over here from the 39, first and 10, Chase Moss' first pass going to be complete to Brandon Cooks. He'll get close to the first down. Going to end up a couple yards short, though. Eight yards on the pass. Now second and two as it's going to be Darren Ellis with his first carry of the season, and it's going to be good for a first down and six yards. So looking good there on all facets so far of the offense. Second and one now from the 16, it's going to be Chase Moss. He's going to face some pressure here, going to get it away, and it's going to be caught. Darren Ellis, what a catch from him down at the one. Thought he maybe got in, but they're going to call him short. So first and goal, let's see if we can finish this drive off. Ellis with it, and yes, easily going to walk into the end zone, and we will tie the game 7-7. So still in this first quarter, it's going to be Redmond, the tight end, taking this one, and he's going to avoid the tackle. I think that was Clinton Dix that should have had him there, and instead he's all the way down to the 30. Teddy Bridgewater, 5-5. Five for 106 yards already in this game. Now second and 13, though, from the 20. We're in the second quarter now, and it's going to be Humphrey, the running back for the Vikings. He's going to have a nice pickup there, nine yards on the carry, but third and five now from the 11, as it's going to be Bridgewater dropping back, looking, throwing, and it's going to be another touchdown, and that is a nice, nice throw there from Teddy Bridgewater as the Vikings will retake the lead down 14 to 7 so we're going to come back with it here Moss play action going to look downfield is anyone going to be open yes they will it's his tight end Jackson as he's got it down to the 47 his first catch of the game Chase Moss a perfect four for four to start this game now first and 10 Ellis with the carry up the middle and he is going to pick up eight on the play he's got 24 yards now as we'll pick up the first down after that now first and 10 again here from the 31 Jackson in motion it's play action to Ellis Moss looking downfield he's got time does he have have a receiver though yes we do it's Devin Funches his first catch he's down inside the 10 to the 7 yard line 87 yards passing for Chase Moss in the first half now first and goal looking to get the drive ender and it's going to be Moss looking looking we have somebody and it's going to be Brandon Cooks catching that one in the end zone for the touchdown and we tie the game once again can we get a stop on this Vikings offense let's see second and three it's a carry for Humphrey and he's going to be stopped in the backfield for a loss he's got 32 yards on 11 carries but here we go third and three this is a big play for the defense Bridgewater dropping back throwing and it's going to be nearly intercepted but it is going to fall incomplete. That's Bridgewater's first incompletion. And we have the ball back here. Three minutes to do some damage. It's Devin Funches down the middle across the 50, staying up a little bit longer, down to the 41. 
Moss still a perfect night of nine in this first half. Second and ten. Now it's Moss, and he's going to find Lucas Jackson about to the 20, down to the 22. Moss did get an incompletion on first down, though. So now second and six from the 17 as we're moving the ball here. A minute and a half remaining, and Devin Funches, this guy, impressive. This is why I gave him that third wide receiver spot. He was really, really good in the preseason. The overall isn't there, but he can catch the ball. Third and goal now, and this one, a bad, bad play call, a bad throw, and it's going to fall incomplete. We'll get the field goal. And it's now 17 to 14, but the half is not over. Teddy Bridgewater, and look at this. The rookie, Davasai Pearson, picks it off. And how's this for your first game? A pick six in his debut. Corner was something we had to focus on in the draft. We did it, and it's already reaping the benefits here as it's 24 to 14 heading into halftime as we kind of steal that one. But here we go. Opening of the third quarter. Steffens with the return, and this kid is going to see you later no one's catching him this time the rookie gonna go the distance his third career kick return and he's taking it to the house and look at the impact the rookies are having week one at that unbelievable how these guys are playing first and 10 now here is a uh poor tackle attempt which allows humphreys to get down that left side out of bounds at the 48 big pickup for him he's got 65 yards now on 13 carries now second and one as Bridgewater in the Vikings. They need an answer on this drive. It's going to be Thompson, the backup. He's going to pick up a first down, and he's staying up fighting for a couple extra yards down to the 33. Ten yards for him on his first carry of the game. Second and eight now from the 31. Bridgewater as under center going to take the snap. It's a halfback draw. Humphreys up the middle, runs into his own lineman, but that's not going to stop him from picking up five more yards. He's near 80 yards for the game, but it's another third down here. Can we get a stop? Bridgewater looking, and no. Pierre Garçon back from the injury and making an impact there, picking up the first down. Second and 10 now, halfway through this third quarter. It's Teddy Bridgewater, another handoff as the Vikings running the ball well in this game, but here we're finally going to get the stop we need. So third and nine, defense, can we get a stop? Looking for the bend, but don't break. Bridgewater, and we broke. Crisp with the catch in the first down inside the 10 as Bridgewater, 10 of 13. Pretty nice game for him, except for that uh, one interception. That's the big mistake so far. Second and goal now from the five. Vikings, Bridgewater going to keep it himself, but we have the answer as it's going to be Matthew waiting for him. So third and goal. Defense, another opportunity. Ben, don't break. Bridgewater, and it's good. We broke again. And the same guy as well, Crisp, getting the touchdown this time. So the Vikings get the answer that they desperately, desperately needed. But look at this. You're seeing another return. Could it possibly be another kick return? The same thing. Down that left side, they just cannot stay with the speed here. I needed to make it a little bit more to the left. I stayed too far in the middle of the field. We were able to get caught. But still, this kid is having a massive effect on our starting field position. As we go first and 10, it's a pass. Amari Cooper haven't called his name really at all today. He's going to get the catch there. So now third and two. This will be the final play of the third quarter. We're going to hand it off to Darren Ellis, and he is going to be stopped in the backfield. Two guys on him, but look at this. He stays up. Two more guys on him. Did he get the first down? Yes, he did. you got to be kidding me, Darren Ellis. Second and seven. Now the pass to Devin Funches. He's inside the 10, and what a fight. Injury on the play. That is going to be Funches. He would be okay. It's not a serious injury, but first and goal. Steffen's now in the game. He's coming across the middle. I'm eyeing him here, and we'll just throw it up off our back foot. He's going to catch it, and he's into the end zone. His second touchdown of the game. The kid can do it all. 38 221 in the fourth quarter now under 10 minutes to go in this game Teddy Bridgewater gonna pass it here he finds Murphy he'll get the first down 11 yards and he is hurt a lot of injuries in week one here people got to get back into the swing of things here second and eight it's now Bridgewater and he's going to be sacked well not sacked but tackled and that was Pearson that caused the fumble Cromartie picks it up and Dominique Rogers Cromartie is going to see you all later as well as the defense the special teams the offense everybody's getting in on it today as third and ten the Vikings trying to avoid a three and out but they cannot and it is going I mean not really bad to worse the Vikings aren't playing bad it's just we are playing out of our minds now we're seeing a punt return and can he do this one as well as it's going to be Steffens down the sideline no one is going to catch him and he is going to go you nope I saw that Ray Ray Armstrong, that is going to be a flag. What He did not need to block him. We just had our second special teams return for a touchdown, but instead it gets called back. And that one, Ray Ray, you better watch your back. Steffens is going to take you out. But here we go. First and 10 from the 12th. It's Chase Moss. We're looking to add on to this total. Amari Cooper with the catch, and this is too easy. He's into the end zone, diving for the touchdown. And this one 
has become all Oakland Raiders. 52 to 21, five minutes remaining. As the Vikings take back over and really no shot at this one as Khalil Mack gonna pick up his first sack of the day. He would like to be included in well in this, guys. Third and 26, the Vikings, I mean, at this point, just don't turn the ball over anymore. Teddy Bridgewater dropping back. He is gonna throw it up and it is gonna be turned over. Tyron Matthew with the pick. And that will be your cherry on the top of the Sunday. What a perfect, complete win. We had it coming from all different angles. What a complete game. Chase Moss, 17 of 21 for 196. Bridgewater, 14 of 20 for 188. Three touchdowns for both guys, but two picks for Bridgewater. That's going to be a key difference Excuse me, in this game. LeCambra Humphrey, 17 for 80. Darren Ellis, 17 for 84 and a TD. Latavius Murray, 4 for 11. Bridgewater, 4 for 13. Amari Cooper, just 4 for 36. Funches leads everyone with 70 yards. He did get hurt, but he is okay. Pierre Garçon, 3 for 46. Brandon Cook, 4 for 42 and a touchdown. And then it was Chris, 3 for 34 and a TD. And then Stephens had the TD as well. Williams going to lead everybody with 11 tackles. Darman with three tackles for loss, a sack for Mack and Williams. And then the picks from Davisai Pearson and Tyron Matthew. We're also going to have a forced fumble from Pearson and a fumble recovery from Cromartie and a TD to go along with it. Pearson also adding the pick six. Stefan, what can I say about this kid? 217 yards on kick returns, 33 for punt returns. So that is just about with the receiving about 250 yards of total yards for the game and two touchdowns. So when it comes to MVP, I'm actually going to split it between the two rookies. I'm going to get it to Stephens and I'm going to give it to Pearson because you can't really deny either of these guys. Pearson with an interception, pick six, a forced fumble, had a couple key tackles, had a tackle that kind of saved a touchdown earlier in the game. So give it to both of them for week one. A little weird, but at the same time, you can't really deny they both had MVP-like performances in their NFL debut. So that is week one. We've started things off perfectly. I'm feeling really, really good about this team. Now, everything could kind of get a wrench thrown in it because, as I said earlier in the video, I don't think we're not going to be able to make it through this whole season with me playing every single game. So I think what we might do is maybe play through to the bye week in week nine, and then I'll simulate all of the second half of the season and then play through the playoff games, assuming I'm pretty sure we'll be okay simulating. We should still make the playoffs. I don't know if we'll necessarily finish undefeated or in first, but we should be safe, I think, with this team. We're a pretty talented team, pretty highly rated. We should be okay there. Uh, or we just play, and I keep playing until the Madden 17 franchise is ready to go because in past years, I've always wanted to wait until a good slider set is out because most most years the game is a little eh, a little iffy when it first comes out in terms of just the default way it plays but this year I was kind of hoping to just hit the ground running right away pick a team and get one going just to see because it's great going through multiple seasons I want to see if we can get through more than five seasons get through a complete five seasons with Madden 17 so that's kind of the idea we'll still kind of play it by year and see where it goes over the next like week or two I'm going to think about more what I want to do leave your comments down below I know uh, a couple of you have left suggestions in past videos of how to handle this final season and I do appreciate that input so keep it coming if you have anything else to put down in the comments but that is going to do it for week one we will get into week two next time we're just going to keep trucking here the Texans 0-1 on the road in week two next time you will see that one in the next video that's gonna be it for this one though if you enjoyed it please go ahead and give it a like I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that I make as always thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time